today we can see how can we uh, render an ambient occlusion pass from V-Ray. V-Ray doesn't have a direct option to render an ambient occlusion pass. There are two options. One is you can use a V-Ray a dirt map to create an ambient occlusion. It's a shader from V-Ray that is, works very similar to uh, the ambient occlusion in ambient occlusion shader in Mental Ray. And the other method is there is a plugin. Uh, uh, plugin. So you can get that plugin from Creative Crash. This is the plugin called V-Ray Ambient Occlusion 2.0. It's a script, so you can download the script and you can come here to the Mac script and run that particular script that will install uh, this plugin to your. I have that. You can go to uh, my. I have this here, so you can just install that script. It directly comes to your group here, ML plugins, and you can access uh, your uh, ambient occlusion directly from here. You can ask the render, it will follow the render settings. So you can just click on the render. Mm, so it takes and it's the controls are the same. Um, the radius, the ra uh, same, uh, the same control you can find even in mental ray that the radius is. Um, how far uh, this can spread so uh, so you can control the distance that the shadows or these these are basically distance based shadows so you can uh, control the shadow how far the shadow should spread based on the radius over here okay so that's one option and you can obviously control the quality using the subdivision this is the one method that it's it's easy to access but if you uh, like to have more control on, on your shadows you want to control it further you can manually do it uh, how I do is uh, using a V-Ray dirt map so you can uh, you can find out in the V-Ray advanced you will have something called V-Ray dirt you can pick it up V-Ray dirt and you can connect I normally connect this with a shader which is V-Ray light material so I can connect this to the light color so and I'm selecting all the objects and applying this material. Okay. Okay. So I'll just switch on. And so I can see that what's happening. So I'll just take a smaller render, render setup, and I would have something like 420. And as normal, we render it. So uh, you can see that as of now it doesn't look that good. You can uh, see a uh, lot of noise. Obviously, you can control when you come to the V-Ray uh, dirt shader, and then come to the subdivisions. You increase the subdivision. You can get a bit more smoother uh, shadows. You can see that the higher the subdivisions, the smoother the shadows. And same like if you would like to control the radius, higher you want to spread, you can control the radius, you can control the fall off. Here you have some more control. You may even uh, change, same way you may even change the color, uh, maybe to a light and dark uh, color. Same way you do in mental ray, you may change the colors, which is further control that you get here when you're using a V-Ray dirt map for your ambient occlusion. You may change the colors and work further on to that. So you can do it in the two ways. This is a V-Ray light material. You just need to pick up a V-Ray light material and you need to find out a V-Ray v dirt map and just need to connect the output to the light color. So that's what normally we apply. And you can control further over here. That's it. Thank you.